Good Thursday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. Time to cook a little lunch slash dinner. It's 12 o'clock, so this is going to be for lunch and dinner. Cooking early or late. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some um, turkey burgers and some sauteed asparagus. And I've got some of that macaroni and cheese that I had for Sunday. I'm going to heat some of that up, and that's going to be our meal for the day. Because I'm, I'm just going to do... Uh, a one-time cooking. So I hope y'all having a God-blessed Thursday. I hope everything is going well. I hope the weather is beautiful and sunny and bright where y'all are. Let me see. I'll let y'all peep out the front door. Can you see out the front door? I got my front door open today. It is beautiful outside. I'm excited. So I'm glad about being around alive and well, giving God the glory for this day in spite of anything else that's going on today. I give God the glory for health and strength. Had a uh, family member, uh, in-law family member that passed away. So y'all keep our family in prayer uh, today uh, and throughout this time frame. I'll, I'll just say more when I know more and when I can. But just to keep us in prayer in terms of bereavement. And you know, it could happen to any of us at any time it, it um it's just one of those things that happens. Um, and it's going to happen to all of us eventually. That's why I always say pray without ceasing. Um, make good those bad relationships that have gone awry or to the left over the years. Do something kind for someone. Love one another as God has loved us like he asked us to do. And try to be all nice and good and, and um compassionate as often as possible a kind word turns away wrath all of those good things that god taught us in his word to use in order to get through this life to consider other people's feelings before you are sometime do unto others as you would have them do unto you uh pray before you act on things and before you say things watch your mouth be kind to people and and loving and and don't always think you have to answer back in a negative way. And my mom used to say, if you can't say something good, just keep your mouth closed, keep your pie hole shut. Just do that, and and you and and, and things will go off a lot better. You don't always have to just jump up and say the first thing that comes into your mind, especially if it's in a negative situation. So just know that this life that God gives us here on this earth is not ours it's his it's precious and we should treasure it and be thankful and grateful that he has allowed us to pass this way so just on today because um uh our family has lost a dear dear person and um we're just gonna we're just gonna go be a call and we're just gonna go through this life and know that at any time that bereavement could be one of us. So get it right while you're here. Do what you can for people while they're here. You know, give them their accolades, their uh, dues, and all that kind of thing. Be nice to people. Just, you know, pick up the phone. If you got somebody on your mind, uh, go ahead and call them. If it ain't nothing but, hey, how you doing? I got several people that I'm going to have to call today that uh, have been on my mind and I urge you, if I'm on your mind, give me a call or, or drop me a note or whatever if you listen to this. It always feels good to hear from those people who you love and who love you. So, with that, because if I keep talking, I'll be crying here in a minute. So, you know, I'm just going to keep right on going and doing uh, what I set out to do uh, today. I'm, and that's to cook this meal. For Kareem and myself, and we all other things will be done uh, good and in order according to the Word of God. So, uh, thank y'all uh, for always sending me uh, gifts, and uh, thank you, Mary Liz, for the uh, monetary gift. Thank you, uh, just thank y'all for for the uh, I got the Macy's card, and because my heart is so full, I can't even think of names right now. But for the, the nice gifts that were sent to my grandchildren. You know, when people do things for my ch grandchildren, it just makes me just want to shine. 
I tell you the truth, because I think, you know, you thought enough of me to even bless the fruit of my loins, to bless my children, bless my grandchildren. That's what the word of God says, is that your children's children will be blessed when you're living right. And when you so that just makes me feel so, so good. So a thousandfold blessings back to each one of you who have contributed to the life of my children and to myself. Uh, you know who you are. Um, and just, just charge it to my head and not to my heart. Uh, I love you all so much. And I endeavor each time that I come on here, not just to cook a good meal, but to give you some kind of word of encouragement or uplift. And know this, God is still in control. No matter what you're going through, no matter how dim it seems, we all have some things in our lives that we'd rather not have. I got some things going on with members of my family that I'm travailing on their behalf. I'm praying on their behalf. And I'm asking God to keep them. I got them on the altar. I, I put them, you know, I'm standing in the gap. So I do that so often, and, and I pray that you would do the same for me as I need it. And each day we need prayer, no matter what. Each day we have to ask for that grace and mercy from our Lord and Savior because we fall short every day. So um, let me get on with this meal, like I said, before I be boohooing here in a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is going to be short and sweet and real simple. Uh, I've got, I'm going to do four of these big old nice thick turkey burgers and um, get them on here for Kareem and I for uh, lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is just sprinkle them. This is onion powder. Get the lid off, out of the way. This onion powder right here. I'm going to do one side with everything and I'll come back and flip them in the pan and we'll do the other side some uh, complete seasoning. You know, these, um, actually, these turkey burgers are very good and tasty, but y'all know me. I just, put, I like to put on my extra seasoning because I'm extra, I guess. I don't know. So, here we go. And we're going to put um, complete seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, just sprinkle it on uh, sparingly, so it kind of sort of, because like I say, the turkey burgers are really very nice and seasoned. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and put them into my skillet, which is all the way over here on the other side. Let's get this going right here, and then we'll come over and we'll get the opposite side. I got some, a um, little bit of oil in the pan. I think I need a little bit more. And you can start these out sort of medium high heat until they get to sizzling pretty good. I only have a little bit of oil. I need a little bit. I, I need another couple of tablespoons because you know these turkey burgers, they don't have any fat in them. So we have to put a little oil in the pan. Okay? So they won't get all stuck to the pan or anything like that. Spread that out. Yeah, this pan is just right. This is a big old pan. So these turkey burgers are nice and thick. I'm going to go ahead and press them out a little bit more. Y'all know, I told y'all, I don't like thick meat. So these, these are nice on a bun, though. Woo! Nice on a bun. Okay, so we're just going to come back and a um, little black pepper. Let's do the back right away. So we're just going to black pepper. So hopefully y'all have been having some good days during the weekend. As you notice, I'm sure... I've not put up anything after Sunday dinner. I decided after I cooked a lot of food Sunday. Whew, I, you know how you just feel, you just didn't feel, I just didn't feel like doing it, so I just didn't cook the day Thursday. So that means I haven't cooked since Sunday, because I've been eating leftovers and salad. A bit more black pepper, a little bit of onion powder. You know, some days you just have to shut it down. Shut it down. I and mean, that's what I did this week. I shut it down. So I'm going to pick it back up um, today. I'm actually picking it back up today. Uh, Tanya came by. Uh, she took Tony to his doctor. She took Tony to his doctor's appointment. I didn't go this time. Because I, I, I shut it down. I shut it down. 
and I just decided I wasn't going to go this trip. So Serena and I have to go to Raleigh Saturday, since it's the day after tomorrow. So, in here, y'all, I got my uh, burgers going. So over here on the other side of the stove, I got my skillet ready for my asparagus. So what I'm going to do, all I want to do since the asparagus, um, I put some complete seasoning on there. This is two pounds of asparagus, y'all. Um, complete seasoning on there. Let me turn these burgers down some. Okay, I got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in here. And I poured a little bit of olive oil onto my asparagus. I put some, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start dropping. Yeah. I was going to do carrots. I thought I had carrots, but I don't have any carrots, y'all. Uh, so I was going to do asparagus and carrots, but I don't, if I don't have them, I can't do it. Okay. So we're going to allow these, just to, that steam to come up through them and to uh, just sort of saute there. So we got everything cooking. I'm gonna, I'll drop a few pieces of onion in I'm not a whole lot. I got me three, four nice thick ringlets of onion to go in my, with the burgers. You know you have to have a little bit of uh, onion, some little fried onion, sauteed onion to go with the burgers. So I'll just leave, I've got me four pieces there that I'll leave for my burgers. Okay. So we're going to just let everything cook there for a little bit, and I'm going to flip these, um, this asparagus in a few minutes, but before I flip it, uh, let me just say, I got a tablespoon of olive oil poured over them, a teaspoon of complete seasoning, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and now I'm just going to sprinkle them. Y'all know I love my, um, Lemon pepper seeds. Here's my lemon pepper. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon pepper on here. I've got a teaspoon of lemon pepper. Okay. Let's have a teaspoon. And for excitement, y'all, I'm going to put about a couple of tablespoons of balsamic vinaigrette on it. That's my vinaigrette that I use uh, by food line, okay? So let me just take my tongs here. Let me get that. Just doing that. Let's go ahead and kind of sort of turn them a little bit. Because they're still, they're, they're sauteing. I don't want them to steam or nothing like that. Now, I'm going to have the heat way up high because I want this vinaigrette just to coat these, uh, this asparagus. I don't want it to make it start boiling and steaming and all that. So let's just go right here. And we're going to sport just about a couple of tablespoons. That should be enough. And that way, that vinaigrette will glaze on there. Yeah, we still do it. And I might even add a little more when they get a little bit more tender. We don't want them soft, soft. We just want them tender. Okay, so we're going to leave that burner on high as they pour Okay, so let's keep it moving, y'all. Y'all hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, this uh, spare doesn't need to cook no more than about 10 minutes for me anyway. So I've turned the heat off of this asparagus, and, and I'll just leave it on the burner there. And I like it sort of crunky and a little bit, you know. Al dente. Okay, so let's go ahead and check these burgers out. I got them on low now. These babies are thick, so it's going to take a minute for them to cook. It's probably going to take about 20 minutes for these burgers to cook, so I'll make sure they're on low. And we can go ahead and drop the onions in with them now. Yeah, I think I'm going to place these onions. I meant to do this before I turn them. So I'm going to place my onions right under these burger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So those are cooking nicely, so we'll, the burgers, I went ahead and put the onions under there, so they can go ahead and start to cook. Um, we're going to take those off the burner, I don't want that to cook anymore, though that asparagus is perfectly cooked. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I think everything is ready. The asparagus is ready. I've added to the menu some whole kernel corn back there with butter and brown sugar. And, of course, those are the burgers I'm getting ready to take out. And we're going to use those golden buns uh, to serve these. And I'll probably slice some tomatoes. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get these burgers out because I do believe they are ready. Let me see, where's my special? Okay. Yep, these are ready. Those onions are nice and cooked. Yep, they're ready. So honey, we're gonna have us a burger. And I probably I'm gonna I'm gonna get everything in one pan except for um of course the sitting burgers right there so they'll stay warm. Heated up. Ooh, I don't want that back on. No, sir. No, ma'am. I don't want that back on. So, we've got the burgers ready. We've got the asparagus ready. I got that corn back there on the backboard, and I can turn that heat off. I'm just going to sit that asparagus right on top of that because I don't want it to continue cooking, y'all. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I've got, I told y'all I was going to use some leftover macaroni and cheese. So I had macaroni and cheese, plenty of left over. I made the biggest pan of all, y'all. So what I am going to do, I'm going to heat a lot of it, but just enough. Okay, here we go. I am going to, let's get me on. Still a trivet here. Might as well trivet and sit it there. And this is what I had left of my mac and cheese from Sunday. Remember, everybody that comes to dinner, but it was a lot of it left, so I got it still left over. So I'm still going to have some to put in the uh, freezer, y'all. That was a big pan of mac and cheese. One. And I gave away some. I gave Cynthia some. I shared with her. And of course, Tony. Lisa came back by here, so I'm just going to take what I think I will probably eat today. And Norik is going to be coming over. So, I will put some on. This is what I do to heat it back up to reheat macaroni and cheese. I'm going to show you all a little trick that I do to keep it nice and moist. Um, So the rest of this that's left over, let me put those more crumb pieces on the back back there. The rest of this is left over. This is another two servings that I got left here in this pan, in this container. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half and wrap it in two separate pieces and put it in the freezer. Because whenever somebody wants some macaroni and cheese, see those, that's, those are not two nice servings. So... Got me two good servings of that left, so let's move this out of the way for the time being. And I will show y'all my little trigger to trade how I'm going to heat this macaroni and cheese to keep it nice and moist and soft. Okay, what I do, I'm going to take some evaporated milk, or if you got whole milk, it doesn't matter, either one. Okay, take your knife and sort of score it like so, like that. I'm going to score it all the way through. Just score it. 
score it. Let's score it. I'm gonna take a drizzle of that milk right down in between there. Y'all probably think, oh, what's she doing? Honey, you just better believe this is one of the good ways to do it. This is just a quick way to do it. And even if you didn't have any milk to pour, water will do just something to keep from moistening. Because you're going to have to heat it because you want it bubbling hot. And then I'm going to spray some butter on it. <clears throat> Spray butter, if you don't have spray butter, slice some butter and put on there, um, whatever, spray it, however you want to do it, but it amounts to the same thing. And then I have a, a microwave dish, I'm just going to put it in that microwave dish to cover it rather, I'm going to cover it with my microwave cover and I'll heat it for about three or four minutes and it'll be nice and bubbly, that milk will cook through it. That butter will go down through it. It'll be just like it just came out of the oven. So how's that for a neat little trick for a leftover? So this meal is done, y'all. It's done. It's ready. Except we just wait on the macaroni and cheese to heat up. And um, the next time it makes its presentation, it will be on a plate. Let's see. It's good. I like to get this... Uh, Boy. And the burgers, you know, you can either. I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna put my asparagus in there. Like I said, this meal is ready, y'all. It is ready. It's ready. It's ready. I gotta make a little run before I eat, though. So I'm gonna be covering everything back up. Mm. Okay, let's get our corn, everything here. Get it turned around. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do right there. Like I said, we got these golden buns here. These are some really, really good uh, ballpark buns that I get from the bakery. So, this is our Thursday afternoon meal, and uh, probably another hour or two, we're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy this dinner. Uh, I hope you all picked up something out of this. You know, one of the main things out of here is, like, how I keep my leftovers. Use those leftovers. We don't throw those leftovers away. Just Well, anyway, this meal is done. Thank y'all for tuning in. Remember, keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Continue to pray for me and for my family during our bereavement. So, love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Until I decide to cook again, to lose.